Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. In this video, I have this beautiful look going on, which is like very, very me. I kind of missed doing a smoky eye, new lip, cool toned colors, mixing with warm tone colors. I kind of missed uh, creating that look because it's really, really me. And in this tutorial, I've used the newest uh, neutral Bebop palette from Natasha Denona, which is so pretty. So if you're curious on how I created this look, then keep on watching. Let's do makeup. I wanted to prime my face using a new primer because I've received quite a lot of new products, but I haven't been able to try them all. Then I saw this beauty right here, which is the Rose Gold Skin Mist from Farsali. And I sprayed it on my face. I don't know if you can see it, but it feels so hydrating. Sometimes when my skin feels and looks dry, and I don't know, I can get like really irritated by it, but this felt so relieving. So, so far, I'm really liking the feeling and the fact that I have a subtle glow over my whole face. Today, we're actually going to play with a new palette that I've been so excited for. It's the Natasha uh, Denona Neutral Biba Palette. I think it's just Biba, right? Biba Palette. Look at this beauty. I feel like Natasha Denona can read my mind when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. Like, I'm like, yes, that color is so unique, and that color too, and that color too, and oh, it's just gorgeous. But we are. This is your evil eye. Look at that. Look what happened. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. Think. Oh my goodness. You guys. I am a genius. Look at that. Look at that. It's a bit dirty over there. No worries, but can I get a tap on my shoulder, please? Okay, I'm going to leave this for now because we are going to do the base, which is actually my favorite thing to do. So the foundation that I'm going to try might surprise you a little bit because it's drugstore and it's not a like super it's well known but it's not like a hyped brand all over instagram and youtube if you know what i mean but this is a floor mar and it's the hd invisible cover foundation um and this is in the shade this shade is an exact match for me so i have to know the shade medium beige and it's such a good shade i loved how my skin looked like and uh so that's why i'm going to use this one you have to shake it before you're going to use it and i always feel like i don't want to shake it because you know and to get a tiny bit of extra glow, I'm going to use this Iconic London Illuminator in original. I'm going to use my Sigma Round Kabuki brush. You see, you get like instant coverage, but it doesn't feel like it's very covering and it looks and feels hydrated. I love the color. I mean, look at that color match. Can I get an amen? It looks really good. So the only downside of this foundation that I could think of is that you have to use quite a lot of product to get... I wouldn't say full coverage because that's not really what I'm looking for, but it's like, you know, to apply your whole face with. For concealer, I'm going to use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I love this concealer so much. And this is in shade Natural Beige, which is going to, I don't know if you can see, but it's slightly lighter than my skin tone, but not too much. And it's so flawless, full coverage. Like, I might like this one more than um, Tarte Shape Tape, Fenty, and I might even like it a little bit more than my fave at this moment, which is UA High Covering Concealer. This is, this is a dream come true. If you're wondering why I use this much concealer, well, first of all, like, I have dark circles. Second of all, I don't know. I also feel like if I use a foundation that looks more natural, I always go heavier with the concealer because, you know, I want that extra coverage underneath my eyes. Okay, so the concealer looks a tiny bit more yellow in comparison to um, my foundation. So I also put a tiny bit of concealer on my cheeks. I'm going to use a tiny bit of this Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Marshmallow, which is a very light concealer, but just right there just to get a little bit more like brightness freshness a little bit more depth i'm going to contour my face with the flawless i use it every time i forget the name every time flawless contouring palette it's not that hard from laura, laura she's from laura merche and you guys know how the inside looks so you know i'm going to use my bh cosmetics brush in number four which is a 
pretty small brush, but it's perfect to contour your face with. And I'm going in with the shades one, two, and three, because I'm a Libra and I can't make decisions, okay? Mm, I'm just going in like that and blend it a bit later. Gel line, chin. So I'm taking my foundation brush again and I'm just going to blend the contour together with whatever is left on this brush. So it looks a bit more natural. I'm going to set my contour with a bronzer that I haven't used before. It's from Joy Cosmetics and it's the medium to deep geo and sun kissed and sunset, which I've never used, but I swatched it very lightly on my hand and the formula feels very buttery. Uh, there's also a like shine to it, which I like when it comes to bronzer, which I don't like when it comes to contouring. So bronzer is good. I'm going to bronze up the whole face starting with, I'm just going to mix them because again, Okay, I'm going to use this big fluffy brush from Makeup Addiction, and this is the Precision Powder Brush. So let's go in with both shades. Oh, it's pretty pigmented as well. Oh, that's a nice shade. Way more pigmented than I expected it to be, but like in a very oh, good way. Look at that shade. Mm. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks a tiny bit messy right here. So I just go in with my foundation brush and kind of like create the shape back again like that. I see, you see, that is what I mean when I get overwhelmed with products. I don't know what to use. And then I miss out on a product that might be, you know, my new fave thing. Okay, I am really, really loving this shade. Oh my God, medium to deep loving it. Love it so for highlighter i'm also going to use jouet highlighter which i've never used before as well and this is the citrine 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 highlighter i'm going to use this i think this is zoeva lux powder fusion brush to apply this uh, highlighter with it looks really good you guys kind of like a champagne gold color oh Oh, wow. That color is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Amrezi Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. I think we need color on this face. So I'm going to use this Young Blood blush in Sherbet. I remember really liking this color blush. It's kind of like a corally peachy blush. It's like a sweet summer blush. To set my concealer underneath my eyes, I'm going to use this new powder from Givenchy. And this is the Prisma Libra, which is probably Libra, in one, which is Mousseline Pastel. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job applying this underneath my eyes. It says loose powder for the face. I think it's going to look good because they are all very brightening pastel -y shades in it, which are going to correct any discoloration as well. So I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and we'll see how it goes so we're going to mix the four powders together to be honest it looks a bit scary i hope i'm not messing everything up i don't know if you can see but it looks green blue now okay that doesn't look bad i thought it was going to look a bit more brightly oh that doesn't look bad at all okay Oh, I love this powder. Do you guys see the blur in this powder? So a bit more. Let's just blend it a bit more. But there is a blur in this uh, powder that I really like. Okay, so let's do this side as well. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to bake with this a little. You guys know I'm not a huge powder person but this doesn't feel powdery it feels so velvety oh my god i can't believe i'm powdering my whole face go to take a close look in a second and hopefully i'm not going to be disappointed i do feel like i look a 
a little bit ashy so i'm going in with this natural lust bronzer from Too faced which is also new so let's try this one. Oh, it feels it smells amazing it smells like coconut before i'm going to do my brows of camera i'm going in with this rose gold skin mist again because i loved it so much but the spray is a bit harsh so hopefully i'm not going to ruin this base okay let's go so even though the spray is harsh it's even so that's a good thing so brows are done i primed my lids with huda beauty overachiever concealer now we are going to use the natasha denona biba palette oh my god i cannot wait to play with this obviously it's a tiny bit messy because we know what happened i'm going to start off with the color freckle which is this beautiful color right here i'm going to use my morphe m513 brush for this i'm going to use this as a i would say more like a transition shade so i'm just going to blend this all the way up to the brow so I think that is a very nice transition shade. It blends like a dream as always. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Oh my goodness, look at that blend. Mm. So with my Morphe 507 brush, I'm going in with this color seed. Okay, right in the crease. Okay, so as you can see, it's a very nice cool brown color and we're going to mix it with a bit of a warmer shade later on like that so with the same brush i am taking this cocoa color which is more warmer it's like a true beautiful brown shade go to blend the edges of this shadow very very lightly with the cocoa shade so just around the edges so very lightly, I'm hardly putting any pressure. So circular motion, so we get a nice smoky effect. Okay, so like that. Ooh, I'm loving the blend. You guys see that? That looks really nice. Ooh, loving it. After that, I'm going in with my Makeup Addiction brush. This is a large shader. I'm going in with this color, which is called Rustic. Oh my God. Look at this color. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a beautiful shade. On top of Rustic, I'm going in with a tiny bit of shine. I'm going to use my ring finger for this. And just go over the rustic shade i think we are going to warm some things up because this color is so unique which is called pasha and i'm going to use my makeup addiction precision crease brush and i'm going to warm up but also smoke out the edges oh my god look at the shade wow that shade is gorgeous also bring the same color a little bit more down towards my lower lash line. With the same brush, I'm going to dip in Tor. Beautiful, cool, grayish color. If you have blue eyes, blue-gray eyes, this is going to look so good on you. Okay, I'm going to use this on my lower lash line. So, right there. So now I'm going to blend my lower lash line so it's nice and smoky. To highlight my inner corners, I'm going to use this Monroe shade, and this shade looks so good. On my waterline, I'm going to use this Dark Roast Eye Pencil from Dose of Colors. It's a very nice, I would say, brown-reddish color, which I really like, especially like when you have brown eyes and you don't want to use black or something that makes your eye look a little bit more dull. You know what I mean? And also, especially if you have green or blue eyes, oh my god. Tiny bit of this color on your waterline and you're good to go because it's going to make your eye look so bright. For lips, I will be using MAC Whirl Lip Liner. By the way, I said Whirl, but I meant uh, cork, right? I'm confused now. Cork. Okay, I'm slightly going to blend the lip liner with my fingers to make it look more natural. 
Then for lipstick, I'm going to use Moolak in the shade My Rent Boy. But uh, this is the first time that I will be using this lipstick, but the color looks amazing. Okay, let's go in. Mm. Yeah, the color looks really good. That is a beautiful shade. Now I'm going to apply some mascara, some lashes, and I'll be right back to show you the end result. I'm back. I applied some lashes. These are Umi lashes in Adelaide. Adelaide? Adelaide. I've also applied a little bit of this eyeliner from Benefit. This is a roller liner eyeliner. And um, I have to say that I am in love with this look. I feel like it's very me. You guys know, you know, I love my smoky eye. It's not too warm. In fact, we have a little bit of cool tones going on and the lip color and the... The formula of this lipstick is amazing. I don't feel anything on my lips. It's matte, but it still looks hydrated, like, and doesn't feel dry. It's just such a good formula. So I'm definitely going to use this color more often, but also the lipstick more often. The color is also like so good. And uh, yeah, I'm really liking this look. Also, let me know what you think of my brows. Do you see any difference? I've used the soap brow. And I feel like it does look a little bit more bushy, a little bit more natural. I think I'm liking it, but, you know, let me know. And when it comes to the Natasha Denona palette, I absolutely loved it, but I didn't expect anything less from her because her eyeshadow palettes are, I think, my fave. I think they're my favorite eyeshadow palettes, formula, pigmentation, color, anything. So let me know what you think of this look. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.